Our second special award, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a very special award, is the MPF Members Award for Lifetime Achievement. Before revealing the winner, the MPF would like to show a video in which 15 professional service leaders express their opinion of the member's choice. Many more would have participated if they'd been able. In everything that he has done, he has always been keen to do the right thing. Not just the right thing in terms of uh, driving the business forward in the best way for the firm, but also he's got a very, very strong sense of what is the right way to deal with people at all levels within the firm. That's not to say he always knows how to deal with people in the right way, but I can't think of anybody who has a stronger conviction of the need to deal with people in the right way who understands the business of law and the business of running a law firm um, with a high amount of uh, intellectual rigour, uh, lots of energy and lots of interesting and, and new ideas. Highly intelligent, very far-sighted, extremely numerate and articulate and strong. A, a quiet, authoritative voice which people really took note of. The results of this firm in recent years demonstrate that there has been first-class execution of strategy. He commands a lot of respect uh, amongst his peers in the marketplace. He didn't waver in what he thought was the right thing to be doing. And at critical points, if he had wavered, the whole thing could have fallen apart. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And he said, well, actually, if it's not broken now, it will be, so we, let's fix it now. He always had a long-term vision as to what he was seeking to achieve, but he tends to roll it out in bite-sized pieces. Boy, oh boy, he went on a really good long march, uh, and the results are there for everyone to see. He has an unusual ability to focus uh, very clearly on the priorities. He's highly competitive. Um, he's got a fierce um, intellect, and he's very good-looking. And those are, those are just some of the things he says about himself. <laughs> Maybe a sceptical with even partners at, uh, at the outset. And seeing them come out uh, thoroughly uh, excited and enthused. He has opened people's minds to give them a greater sense of ambition. He was absolutely determined to professionalise uh, the firm that he, he worked at. Um, that meant, in terms of business services staff, hiring really high caliber people. Well, he does lead from the front, but he's also assembled and empowered a strong team. Bringing in sort of professional management along the lines of sort of corporate, and he seems to have done it very successfully within a partnership, which is no mean feat. The right sort of leader, the person who can challenge you to do better and you make, it makes it feel as if you're the one who's actually achieved it as opposed to him effectively leading you there. He commands respect based on his track record, what he's actually achieved and the lead that he's taken. And um, I think you know, he's widely admired for that. Amazingly, he challenged us to do better and people took up that challenge. And that challenging people in that way, I actually think that was the root of where we started to really make a difference in our financial performance you will hear partners saying that it is more collegiate now than it used to be because everybody is confident that everybody is making a contribution and that people are moving in the same direction. His firm was always a great firm, um, but it wasn't world class, it wasn't world beating, it wasn't best in class. I think what he has done for his firm is to convert it uh, into, a, into a true global powerhouse Partners there strike me as having a much greater alignment with what the ambition of the firm is than perhaps in the past. He's raised management um, as an art form, if you like, up the agenda. He's shown other firms that it can be done. He has debunked this rather sterile argument we've had over the years of are we a business or are we a profession. He uh, redefined the role of managing partner. Someone who can demonstrate that you can take a, a partnership environment and, and, and really change it. He's written, he speaks, he shares his experiences, and that is very valuable indeed. Because of some of the 
policies and approaches that he implemented that gave permission to other firms to, to take a similarly uh, radical, analytical approach. The profession owes him a bit of a debt. He's a person who's always there when you need him. Uh, he's extremely dependable. He's a guy that if I needed to, uh, to talk to someone about an issue that I faced, he would be one of the first people I thought about calling. If you spoke to his wife, I don't think she would think that he, he has done anything other than devote his time and attention to his job. Uh, I suspect in, in her in a rational mind she'd recognise that's not the case. No problem finding time for somebody of this calibre. I hope very much that the world out there realises what a very special person this is and that he has qualities which can be of use to the broader commercial world. I imagine he will get as far away from Nora as he possibly can. I would if I was him. <laughs> I think he goes out on a high. In a very short space of time, he seems to have achieved what it might take other firms much longer to do. He, he absolutely does deserve this award. Absolutely. I think he'd be a very worthy winner. I can't think of anyone better. I think he'll be a fabulous winner, and I wish I could watch him squirming in his seat as he's watching this. And the winner, if you haven't already guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, is Tony Angel of law firm Linklaters. <laughs> It's a bit uh, kind of breathtaking. Um, I really am um, uh, very uh, shocked and, and humble. I'm also extremely worried. Um, the last time I received an award, it was on behalf of the firm that was of glass. Um, my secretary, Susan, who, without, without whom I can, I can assure you I, I wouldn't be in the right city, let alone in the right room at the right time. Um, uh, I, um, uh, I dropped it. <laughs> so thank you um, to the uh, Managing Partners Forum, to the uh, sponsor of the Financial Times, and to the uh, judges. Uh, I, 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 I'm extremely um, grateful for... If, if I think back over my nine years as managing partner, one of the things that is absolutely striking, and I think uh, MPF has done a fantastic job at recognising this, is the way in which professional service firms generally have really stepped up their game. They've become a very important part of the economy. And the professionalism within which they're now run, the way in which they've moved on from the traditional old partnership. Right, we, we saw just, there's just been an extraordinary array of uh, achievement in the awards that have been um, recognized uh, this evening, the performances that have been recognised this evening. And, and I think in a way it's almost wrong to talk about management because what so many people around the room have shown is that we've moved on in professional services from just management to leadership. We are actually leading as well as managing within the firms in which we operate and we're making a real difference and we're growing and we're an extremely vibrant uh, and successful uh, part of the economy. In, in terms of what we tried to achieve at Linklaters, we really uh, tried to achieve uh, three things. We tried to set a very clear strategy and get everybody in the firm behind it. The second thing is actually it's, it's a never-ending process. You have to maintain that alignment as markets change. We live in extremely fast-moving times. We have ever more demanding clients. And, and the third thing I think you have to do as a managing partner is to provide the infrastructure, the support, the business services that enables the people out there in the front line to really serve their clients to the best way possible. And, 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 and we've heard around the room this evening uh, so many people who are doing such a great job at, 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 uh, at that. Uh, and then finally, I, I have to mention uh, my family. Uh, my wife and my sons, without whose support I could not possibly uh, have uh, achieved uh, with the firm what, what, what we've, uh, as a firm, managed to achieve. Uh, so, Ruth, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, thank you all very much. <laughs> <laughs>